In this video, I'm going to show you how to dry out boots quickly in the field, because boots are only as waterproof as they are tall. The first thing to do is collect some rocks. The rocks need to be higher up on the bank so that they're not soaking wet, and you'll also need them to be small enough that they can fit in a smaller space. This should be enough for one boot. The next step is to fill this with enough water to cover the rocks. Typically, if it's an option, you'd want to use a campfire, but for field expediency in this video, I'm going to use a stove. We're going to want to bring these rocks to a boil. Bonus points if you use a lid. While that's heating up, let's make ourselves a pair of tongs. Wring out your socks as much as you can, and also empty out your boots of any water, and invert them so that they drip out as much as possible. I also set my socks next to the stove so that it can dry off as much as possible as well. Now everything is at the temperature we want it to be. The rocks are just hot enough so that the water really starts to evaporate off of them. This is what's going to make our boots dry a whole lot faster, and also at a safe temperature. Depending on your boot material, you could be able to just put these directly into the boot without any problem of melting. But for those that want to stay safe, you can go ahead and put these into the sock. The sock is going to add a little bit of protection between the rock and your boot in case you're worried of your material melting. But regardless of whether you use a sock, you're going to want to open up your boot as much as possible so that there's a lot of air movement within the boot. And as you can see, there's a lot of steam that's coming out of it. Depending on your boot and how wet it is, you might want to repeat this two or maybe even three times. But this is a very safe and effective way to dry out your boots. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Interbark Outdoors. If you have any comments or questions, please message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye. The difference between cool white and neutral white is that the cool white tends to lean more towards the blue side of the light spectrum, whereas the neutral white is more balanced for daylight, which is what the human eye sees best.